Take a look at the up-to-the-minute Big Ten men's basketball standings. Purdue has clinched the one seed, the outright Big Ten title. Illinois has secured a double bye. They're the only team that can say that in addition to Purdue. Northwestern Nebraska right now would be the teams above that first blue line. Don't have to play until Friday. You see the separation in that second blue line. Those four teams below would be involved in Wednesday's first round. Maryland and Michigan cannot climb out of that spot Rutgers and Penn State can so still plenty to be decided over the course of the next five days before we finish the regular season. So what is exactly at stake over those five days? Let's take a look at some teams that have the most to play for over the course of the next five days of the regular season and next week in Minneapolis. And there's no question. You start with the most obvious team here and that's the Iowa Hawkeyes. I, I was got to play into the NCAA tournament I, I believe on Sunday. Against Illinois, these teams just met. It was it was back and forth, high scoring affair. Iowa fell or, or lost that game, 85 to 95, just a week or so ago in Champaign. Now they welcome the Illini to Iowa City. They've won four or five, playing great basketball. Josh Dix has gone for 20 plus the last three, shooting insane numbers. Their backcourt of Dix and Peyton Sanford and Tony Perkins has played as well as anybody in the country recently. I love how they're playing. Difficult matchup. Yep. They get this win some momentum. We could see them in the NCAA tournament. I think it's fascinating. You think Ohio State still has an outside shot to get to the NCAA tournament? They won four or five as well. Some big time wins recently. Had some good wins in the non conference as well. So, yes, they are auditioning for the tournament if they can finish strong. Could Jake Diebler be auditioning for the head job at Ohio State next season? Remove that interim tag. I think both are long shots, but Rick, I don't believe they're out of, out of the, the question. And if they finish great, both those things, you know, could happen. One game remaining at Rutgers. Minnesota, Wednesday night against Indiana, on the road against Northwestern. I think the Gophers have a slightly better chance to get there than Ohio State. Well, yeah, and, and I mentioned earlier, they've, they've lost some tough ones that they would have looked so good on their resume. But, you know, versus IU tonight at Northwestern, those would be two quality wins if they could get those, get some momentum. They're playing at home in the Big Ten tournament. They're going to have the fans behind them. You know, that Ben Johnson's talking about the belief of this team. They're right there on the cusp. Can they say, forget about next year, Rick. This is the year. Can we do it? Christie's playing great. Over 18 a game the last three. Now's their time. How about their seed possibilities? As high as three, <laughs> as low as 10. As Crazy. for Michigan State, they're locked into playing Thursday. Can't play Wednesday. Can't earn a double bye. They have Northwestern on Wednesday, and then they finish at Indiana. They could lose these two, and that would be five straight losses to the season. Then so I think they're on the bubble. I think this is so important for them because – Assuming they're in the tournament, I, I just I, I believe that this team could make right with this season and go on a run with that quality of, of backcourt that they have, the experience that they have with Tom Izzo uh, on the sidelines. I love to see them finish strong. They have the, the goods to do so, but they got to do it right now. And Wisconsin's got to figure things out. Finally, they have Rutgers and then at Purdue to finish the year. They've lost seven of nine. They could lose nine of 11 to finish the season. Rutgers just ran them out of the gym a few weeks ago. But I, I believe that they could turn it around as well, Rick, because of their depth, their experience. Uh, they, Chucky Hepburn's been playing better lately, about 15 points a game over his last four. He's shooting it well. If he's more aggressive, they have that balance, they could do it as well. Uh, their resume, season-long resume, makes it a non-issue for Badger fans. They're not going to miss the NCAA tournament, but we talked about them a couple months ago as a potential number one seed. Now you're just hoping to hold on to a single-digit seed at this point. For Trent Meacham, I'm Rick Pizzo. As always, we appreciate the hang with us here 